Straight from the operating room, part of an organ is sent on its way to an eager recipient. But this is not a typical organ donation. The recipient is a team of scientists who go to work analyzing this piece of brain tissue about the size of a lima bean. The research could help pave the way for new treatments for neurological disorders like epilepsy or Alzheimer's. We can't do any of this work if we don't have a steady supply of research specimens coming from the local hospital. For the past five years, Allen Institute researchers have been collecting samples to build an online atlas of brain cells. But in order to succeed, they need living tissue. After a person passes away, you wouldn't be able to measure dynamic properties of cells, for example, the electrical activity. Most of the samples come from epilepsy patients, like Jeanette Hoffman, who volunteered to donate a small piece of their brains while undergoing surgery to treat seizures. Because of um, the nature of those surgeries, we are often taking out a small part of normal brain that's next to uh, or over the parts of the brain that are causing seizures. Um, so in order to do these surgeries, that part of the brain is going to be removed regardless, and um, that offers us the chance to, to use that brain to advance science. Hoffman hopes the surgery will eliminate her seizures and help others. The whole idea of helping someone live a better life, I never thought that I could be that effective. You know, I'm not a doctor or a scientist. So it gives me honor to know that I may help someone's daughter or son or relative to have a better life. A small contribution to science that could have a lasting impact. Malcolm Ritter, Associated Press.